I mean, I can't even imagine the fear that would happen, like, realistically in that moment. And it's it was... It was beautiful. Beautiful. It was so beautiful. It was such a beautiful way for her character to go out. I'm so glad they did it like that. What's going on, guys? Welcome, welcome back to Dan Reacts. I'm Dan. This is my reaction channel. I'm here with the one and only Cure for Mankind, Addie Cahill. How's it going? Oh, my God. You are the cure. I am the cure. I am so incredibly excited to be back for another episode. We just watched that pilot episode. It exceeded all expectations. So stunning. We loved it so much. And now we're here for episode two. Yes. And I'm so excited to get into this. Mm-hmm. I really just wanted to give a moment to the fact that they mentioned Riley. I know. I think what a stunning, like, little, again, like... Easter egg. For the people that know, like, if you know, know, you know. And you'll eventually know. Everybody will eventually know. But we know. But the mention of Riley this early on was so cool to me. Because I'm like, even in the video game, they don't mention Riley until you get to... Well, they... They no, do they... kind of at the end, mm -hmm. but Ellie mentions it. Right. It's not like Marlene's talking about Riley. You know what I mean? So that I just thought that was so cool. It almost brought a tear to my eye. I know. And it brought a tear to Ellie. And eye. how shitty would it have been for me to have gone through that by myself? Right. To have not had you to have been like, <laughs> if you had not played the game and we were sitting I here know. right now. And you're and like, we you just, don't get I'd who Riley so is. I'd be so sad. I'd be like, I can't. But I feel like part of you also like thrives on that to be like, you don't even understand. But I will say, I got a year of Game of Thrones with that. Like, I kind of want us to be on the you same like page to be for on the once. Same page. Like, Good, I just kind of want us to be on the same page for once, you know? Yeah. Um, all right. I'm very excited for this episode two. So let's get right into it. The Last of Us, episode two. Clink. Dink. Jakarta. That's the country they were talking yep. about. Good okay. advice, thank you. Go oh, get out of there. It's not a good bite. Oh. She's like, oh fuck. Well, that is not good. Girl, she's gonna bite your fingers. <gasps> oh my god. Terrifying. Truly fucking terrifying. Lucky she got out of there alive. Fourteen. That's too many. Oh, her reaction right now is chilling. Mm -hmm. They said it can't be cured, it can't be prevented. Kill the infected. Even if they do, it won't help. Well, it might have if it was still contained there, but if they don't do it, it's going to spread. See, she even knows, like, but you That's bomb it, is. and we're still gonna all die. Well, if they bombed, if it was contained in the city and they bombed and everybody died, then it would end. But she probably knows, like, they're not gonna do it or they're not gonna do it quickly enough. Yeah, well, and 14 people are missing. Yeah, so they could be as far as fucking anywhere. They're feral animals mm -hmm. running around. Like, they could be 
way outside of the city by now. Well, and he said it was a. Uh, I wrote down. He said it happened at a flower factory. Mm-hmm. So that shit could have been distributed. Yeah. Already. Yeah, yeah. They are alert. She's like, hi, still not infected, but. Show us your arm. That looks pretty clean. It looks pretty healed. Even for just a regular bite, three weeks, like that's already scarred over. What was Marlene doing with an infected kid? I'm not infected. She sounds just like Ashley. I have to pee. Right. Back there, you can find a spot. Great. There's not going to be anything bad in here? Just you. Okay, <laughs> thanks. That's just what I needed. Damn, he beat the fuck out of that guy's face. Broke his hand. I mean, if you're going to kill someone with your bare hands, you're probably going to break a bone. Yeah. She made it through the fucking night. It doesn't matter. It's gonna happen sooner or later. You need to stop talking about this kid like she's got some kind of life in front of her. He's so detached. Like, he's like... But he's also not wrong. Like, what kind of life is there? In his perspective, yeah. Even if she does make it through this, like, she tests positive. Mm. Jerky, yum. She has a whole ass sandwich. Damn, Marlene hooked her up. They're like, can we actually have some of yours? I need to get it from smugglers. Guess not you guys. Uh. <laughs> I'd be doing the same damn thing, looking at me like I'm a monster. I'm gonna talk to you like you're an adult. We don't know what you're worth if we don't know what we have. There's a Firefly Base Camp somewhere else. You know, with doctors. This isn't gonna end well, Tess. We need to go back. He won't even look Ellie in the eye. It doesn't matter if she is or she isn't what the Fireflies say, if they believe that she is. If she so much as twitches. <laughs> okay. Can I have a gun? Absolutely no. not. <laughs> hey, Jesus, fine. I'm just gonna fucking sell my shot. <laughs> wow. Wow. Love that. We should get moving. See, they really aren't like giving you a lot of infected interactions. Whereas, like by this point in the game, you've dealt with infected like so many times, mm-hmm. where they're really kind of like, you know, almost teasing it, and it's not coming you quite don't yet. Don't know when it's gonna come. Yeah. So the state house is across there. It's about a ten minute walk if you could go straight. It's the long way or the weird fucking dead way. Well, I feel the long way is based on that limited information. <laughs> Same, Ellie. It's so crazy that people were just like at Living lunch. their lives, They yeah. were just like at a restaurant. This all happened like so instantly. How did you get bit? You know the old ball in the QZ? Whatever, I snuck in. Wanted to see what it was like. Wow. Mommy, you got some balls on you, sister. I'm loving this Tess Ellie moment, yeah. Everyone said the open city was crazy. Like swarms of infected running around everywhere. So there aren't super infected that explode fungus spores on you? Shit, I hope not. <laughs> Shit, I hope not. Ones with split open heads that see in the dark like bats? Mm, that one's kind of true. That sounds like a clicker. <laughs> it always felt interesting to me that animals didn't get infected during all this. It was just humans. Well, birds too, they can fly away from danger. But like all the animals didn't, you know what I mean? Like in the beginning, they're talking about this can only happen in animals and not in humans. And it only happened in humans. Just interesting. 
Yeah, maybe two. Yes, ma'am. Right away. Oh my god, they did that fucking scene. <gasps> it's okay, it's super decomposed. But also, like, Ellie, I don't know what you expected. <laughs> Another Ellie and Joel moment. I love it! Right, well, I mean, maybe I could climb up there, work my way around, and open it from the inside. Yes, leave Joel and Ellie alone together. Let them bond. I love that you know in her head she's like, I'm gonna bond with this guy. Because that know. was always her goal. Where'd you learn to do that? The circus. I love her. The circus. Where are you from? Texas. So, uh, you two, like, uh... Pass. Oh. No more questions about me. Okay, great. There goes the bonding. How long did that to live? Oh, I thought you went to school. It's a really shitty one. Some last about a month or two. There's others been walking around for 20 years. See, that's terrifying. The ones that are 20 years old. Yeah, like, not only do you, like, yeah. get infected, but you don't die. And what do you look like now? Like, Not good. Is it hard? Like, knowing there were people once? Sometimes. What about that guy last night? Yeah, I killed him because I had a PTSD flashback. But she liked it. Mm -hmm. Well, he was protecting her. Uh huh. That's exactly what that look was giving. What now? Cool juxtaposition of like how mortified Sarah was when he killed somebody, as opposed to how like Ready com comforted Elodie was, was yeah. by it. The difference in the world that they're living in. Uh -huh. She was like, oh, someone. Even as a me. kid, she's like, someone dying is like a comfort to her, uh -huh. as opposed to like a trauma. Oh god. Ooh. Oh my god, they're moving. There's so many. The last time we were here, they were still deep inside the buildings. Like, that's how you exist. What are we doing then? Short way? Oh, we're fucking dead way? Oh shit. I cannot get over these sets. Like I know. They look stunning. It's insane. You can't tell what's real, what's fake. Maybe don't touch it. Like, I don't... Could mean they're all finally dead in there. So if the fungus itself has nothing to live off of, it'll just die. Interesting. We come up against anything and get behind us and we stay there, okay? Yes. She's like, yeah, I'm not gonna try to fight them with my knife, but thanks for the your hand. Congratulations. Only Tess is like attempting to keep Ellie alive. Mm -hmm. Joel is honestly so Joel's detached. Joel's like, I don't give a fuck what He's goes so on. So detached here. from her. Purposefully though. Mm -hmm. You know, he has to be. I just love the way they're showing it. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. What the fuck did that? That's fresh blood. Yeah, you're gonna want to make sure that guy's dead, 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 dead. I don't hear anything. What'd you hear? Clickers. Oh my god, are we getting a clicker right now? Okay, from this point forward, we are silent. Oh my god, my hands are sweating. My God, what are these things gonna look like? I know. Are they gonna look like they did in the video game? They have to. 
ってます。Oh, this is a perfect time for the roof to collapse. Yeah, that would be good. But that you, you know it's scary. No, the, the dust kind of means like there's someone up there. Oh, that's a good point. Oh, shit. I was going to say, though, you know it's scary when Tess and Joel look at each other like. Fuck. Oh, yeah, fuck. Yeah, because they're not scared of shit. They don't care about zombies, really. Oh, yeah. That shit's going to crumble. They're just walking up that? That looks completely unstable. I would be throwing rocks or something, but I guess they have to be quiet. <gasps> Watch your fucking footing. Ellie. Oh. It's so sad. It's like Pompeii. You know how they're like part of the land now? That's so unnecessarily loud. That door. Like, okay. So there's something in the building with them. But、oh, we are not leaving now. No, you're in there. Only one way out. <laughs> oh, my God, the sound. Don't ask a fucking question, Ellie. Shush. You know what it is. Don't ask. Throw a brick. Throw a brick. There's two in. <laughs> Oh my god. These like body actors nailing it. Oh my god, they look, they look exactly how they should look. Oh! And her missing the shot, like, period. Me, the whole、really、game. That really is how it is when you、Me、first the encounter、game. them and you're like, ah! You gotta get a headshot, Joel. Oh my god. Get his ass. This is like when I would run and you'd be like, Yeah, they hear you because you're running too fast. You gotta sneak. <laughs> Shoot it in the fucking head. There you go. <gasps> Where the fuck was Tess? Bye. <sighs> Holy shit. Grab the axe. You alright? Well, I didn't shit my pants. Better than I would have done. She's like, see, guys, I just got bit again. Like, like I'm actually good. It just hurt a little. That was incredible. Those practical effects. Or, I know the way that it was coming, like, 
half of their face was still a face mm -hmm. and then tape up the ankle. You mean the first bite to take? Don't worry about the second. I thought you just take the good news. Oh, Tess is fed the fuck up. I did it for once. Maybe we could actually win. She got bit. Just go and go and watch her. Yeah, suddenly she has all this hope. She got bit. Look at her face. She Twisted knows it. Twisted ankle, my ass. And what else, Tess? Oh, and here it starts again. And the fact that the next shot is just them two, like... Man, you can't deny that view. <laughs> the music. The music, the lines. You cannot deny that view, though. Like, it's got a beauty to it, despite the, like... Yeah. Well, it's the nature overtaking the land. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Nature ultimately won. Life perseveres. It finds a way. Like, look at the vines, like, already overtaking the car. Like, the shit will just bury itself, you know? Oh, my God. I can't stand it. Oh! <sighs> but look at the blood all over the door. I know. I know. Ooh. Oh. What the fuck is going on? I don't know. This is people attacking. Come on. Tess, come on. Tess. Oh, Tess is like, we Tess need to finish this. We yep. need to finish this. She's like, if there's a vaccine, we need to get to it now. It's not going to work that quick, Tess. You but got... I mean, but what would you do? Like... I know, but she got hours, maybe. Well, I think she's hopeful because of Ellie. First of all, grab the guns. So, can you help me? No, it's over. We are going home. This is not my fucking home. Oh. Fuck. She's infected. Oh. Joe, this is real. Joe, she's fucking real. I, I never ask you for anything, not to feel the way I felt, not to make you shut the fuck Aww. up because I don't have time. You keep her alive. And you said everything right. Oh, fuck! <sighs> Hive. How many? All of them. Maybe a minute. Oh my god. Oh, talk about terrifying these final minutes.
Oh God. Oh, Joel. Wow. First of all, oh. look at my arms. I know. Well, same. That was insane. I'm like, I can't even breathe. First of all, beautiful symbolism at the end. Joel walking away from her, basically being like, fucking come or not. I'm walking. Mm -hmm. Like, doesn't even give a shit. He's yeah. just like... Everybody that he's ever loved is gone. Mm -hmm. He's like, come or don't. And he made one connection in this world post his family. And she's gone now. And it's just like... And I just... I, I did want to just point out, with Tess, obviously, so sad... But that scene, part of, like, her last things that she said to Joel was, I never asked anything of you not to feel the way that I feel, like, sort of explaining, like, why she came in and she snuggled him in the beginning. And it wasn't, like, she clearly is in love with Joel and he can't love somebody. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So that in itself was already just powerful. Broke my heart. But then the symbolism of, like, her last moment almost being a kiss from this infected is, like, that was just such a beautiful scene for her to be it expressing such... It was beautiful, such, right? It was love, like, in, like, romantic love. Like, her saying, I love you. You know what I mean? That's clearly what she was saying. But not only in a romantic way, in a way of, like, I'm going to protect you. I'm going to give my life for this. And then my life is going to end with this, like, symbolism of this, like, love that I'm going to sit here and I'm going to not fight. I'm going to take it and I'm just going to let this monster come at me because it's going to give me a couple extra seconds to try to, like, to give them light that this head lighter. Start. Yeah. Like, I, I'm not going to shoot this thing. I'm not going to fight it. I'm going to focus on saving you. Well, and how like, interesting by her not fighting it or running or it just, like... It didn't aggressively attack her. It came he right just, up like, to her and calmly her. walked, and it was almost like this beautiful exchange of You're one fungus to another. One of us. It was yeah. like this it, oddly beautiful moment. That's what I'm saying. Is like for her, like her story really ended from like a real, a place of like real love, like not like, not I want to be with you so bad, but like I would give my life in like the most horrific way and then for the show writers to make that her last moment I just was like that symbolism really Beautiful. spoke to me and really really like made me super emotional and I feel so like proud of her and sad for her but also like compared to her, even her video game character who is it's sad when she dies in the video game like that was even more profound mm -hmm. that was 10 times more stunning to I'm, test dude. to test i the mean the actress who played incredible. her she brought so much we talk about all the time face the face she gave like we immediately were able to tell she That's was test. bit yep. because of the um, instant change in demeanor emotion delivery of lines her everything urgency made me be like oh she got bit. she's done yeah. she's done That's and where obviously she was we for... know she got bit but i think even if you didn't know that would have been something that if you're really paying attention you could have picked, picked up on to me like this love for humanity like mm -hmm. she believes that this could be a cure and she's ready to not just die but to become one of these things mm -hmm. for God Humanity. knows how long mm -hmm. she could be one of these things for 20 years. They don't even, she could be one of these things forever. And she's willing to take that on because of 
these different levels of like love and her belief in this could be a cure. And it was mm-hmm. just like, that was so powerful. Well, it's such a redemption because as they've said now multiple times, like Joel and her are not good people. They've done bad things. So to hear her be like, like this was her do good this deed. to set everything right. It's like for her, this was her good deed. This was her well, one and it's moment also of triumph. One of those things where it's like these people were all people like mm-hmm. Ellie. Yeah, she grew up in this. Mm-hmm. But Joel and Tess, Tess life. were people with mm-hmm. lives before. Are they bad people? I don't think so. They're people doing what has to be done to survive in this world. And so for her, again, like it's this love for humanity and this like goodness in her that her last action hopefully can be like for the greater good to be sitting there the lighter's like not working and, and i'm still i'm just... picturing myself like okay you give up and then like the she's thing is going. in her mouth and, and she found going. the willpower to flick it in one moment. more time yep. you know what i mean like gives me goosebumps and that's what i'm like, saying it's like it's very it's liana so... moment like stabbing it at the end yes you know like to get that extra level of it's so it's badass but it's badass from a place of love mm-hmm. like it's so that was all that love scene gave me was just world. that that was like such strong strong love where it's like i mean i can't even imagine the fear that would happen like realistically in that moment and it's it was it was beautiful beautiful it was so beautiful it was such a beautiful way for her character to go out i'm so glad they did it like that well and to talk about scenes that like this episode more than last episode had tons of scenes that were not in the game and tons of dialogue mm-hmm. that was new mm-hmm. that scene was once again Stunning. word for word everything yeah. it's like you can't change that scene yeah down to her being like this is three weeks old. Like mm-hmm. all of it was exactly, and it gave me goosebumps. It's like, like when She's they like, change she it, is real. they change it. But when you don't, you don't. When it you, when they have the perfect dialogue, you don't need to rewrite you don't need to, it. And those are those scenes that stick in people's minds. Tess's death, like you know, scenes that are going to come up, and it's like you don't change that shit. And you that's what that you shit. want out of an adaptation. Is yes, we want it to be different than the source material. That's the point, right? Like we know it's going to be different. We want it to be different. But those moments where the reason The Last of Us is so popular and got a TV show in the first place was because there were these moments of perfect storytelling. Mm -hmm. Why change it? Why change it? And they didn't. And they're choosing these moments that like if I, if you gave me like a whiteboard and like write down the moments that you would say don't change these moments, they are hitting the nail on the head. It's like there was a focus group somewhere where they said, (laughs) Don't change these. Yeah. And they're killing it. I know. Well, it's just killing it. It makes me because obviously one of the creators is the creator of the game, but then from Mm -hmm. the other one's perspective, it's like, I just, it's like he must have been such a fucking fan of this game because he. He's hitting it. You know, he's hitting it. And there are scenes as a fan of the director who did Chernobyl, there are scenes where I'm like, this is his scene. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, there are scenes where you can tell it's not. And there are scenes where I can tell it's Neil. Mm-hmm. And I can tell this is like a last of us scene. Mm-hmm. And But that test scene, to me, felt like a Craig scene. Yeah. Even though it was directly from the game, it was the first time where it felt it was like different it was his scene yeah. that he adapted perfectly as opposed mm-hmm. to like this was Neil's scene. And that's so hard to do. And mm-hmm. I think especially when And I'm you... sure what a compliment to him. You're welcome. Yes. You directed as you if I the... thought it was Neil. Right. Like well, and you know you have this fandom of people that are going to be so, so critical, critical, so critical, and to do it so right is like oh. it's, it's so rare. It's like how often do you get an adaptation of something where you're like, yeah, yeah. I no notes, no I notes. Would change well, nothing. to say that like really this episode no notes, no notes. Like I, I have, I have pretty much all just things that I like and comments on like. Wow, that was heartbreakingly beautiful. Like, I don't have it. Even the things I don't like is just, you know, things that made me sad. The one thing I have huge is clickers because that was incredible. Right. The clicker scene, so good. They looked, we literally said, are they going to look good? They They look perfect. 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 They they sounded perfect. The scene felt like the first time that you encounter clickers in the game and you're like, holy shit, how do I get away from these people? You're silent, you're crouched. What do I do? Do I see, like, do I shoot them? Do I punch them? What do I do? Like, Mm -hmm. it felt that, like, I felt that same stress. You know what I mean? Of of like, what do I do here? We weren't in control. We were just watching it fall apart. Yeah. (laughs) Like. No, they did a stunning job. I know. 
Joel's disdain for Ellie's more apparent. Like, it's just... For, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, like, throughout the scenes, I was just watching, like, he's so detached. He won't even look at her. He's, like... Yeah. Like, he's, like, talking to Tess about her like, in he front of her and won't, won't even connect. include her in the combo. Yeah. And I feel like in the sh- um, in the game, it just takes a lot longer for you to kind of get that. Mm-hmm. And Pedro's with his facing faces and delivery of lines is doing such a good job. Like giving Not you right connecting. away. He wants nothing to do with this little girl. Well, and this is, she is cargo. Right. He's he, not worried he about her in the first feelings, episode. her living or dying. He's mm-hmm. working on this project. If she dies, she dies. Right. Like he's doing this like for the battery. So I, I just thought that was so interesting how he's doing it because yes. Pedro is playing Joel so well, yeah. So beautifully, that hardness. I almost want to hear, like, what does Troy Baker think of this portrayal of Joel? You oh, know, like, I mean, yeah. What is he saying right I'm now? I'm sure like, there's interviews out there. I know there will be soon. I wrote the only. I mean, we've talked about almost everything that I wrote. Um, but I did. I did write down, and this isn't a big thing, but you know, with any child, like they have this wonder about them, and this like innocence, and this happiness, and curiosity about them that you lose when you get an adult Mm -hmm. and she hasn't lost it yet despite the world that she's grown up and she still wants to sit and make a connection with Joel who she knows wants to kill her she still wants to sit and be like where are you from Mm -hmm. where'd you grow up yeah how'd you get here like whatever you know what I mean like it's very just childlike it's got that lightness to it and I really liked seeing them have that first like moment together well because for us we know. They're going to have a connection. They're going to be the best of friends. Right. And so... So it's just... It was nice to see, like, she's, like, flipping open her knife and she's like... <sighs> yeah. So where are you from? Like, she's going to... She's like, I know Joel's not going to do it, mm-hmm. so I'm going to do it. Right. You know. That was all. That was everything else oh, we already talked my about. Oh, God. Two episodes in, Addie, and I feel like we have seen so much. Mm-hmm. I feel like they have given us so much more than I was expecting in to be episodes. given like for f- for the fact that we've seen the game still like getting so much new content mm-hmm. i wasn't necessarily fully expecting and just exploring the emotions mm-hmm. and the 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 perspective of the mm-hmm. characters in a way that you can't do in well, a video game and as game. good as the mocap is in the video game it's still hard to fully capture expressions right. in a No, of course, and you're talking about a game that came out many years ago, so it's like, just the perspective and the emotion, I think, is something that you can only get in a live action type of performance, and I think they're doing it so well. They're combining this, like, story that was already perfect and not changing the things that don't need to be changed. They're just... Enhancing. They're adding, Mm -hmm. you know, they're adding things to the story that makes sense, and that make you more connected with it, but they're not changing, changing anything, what yeah. doesn't need to be changed. I love also, it. Also, side note, I don't know if it was like during this episode, but I know around this time, like this week or the following episode, the actress who played Tess in the video game died mm-hmm. from cancer. So just want to give like a shout out to that oh, actress I didn't as well. Know that. Yeah, she died like a month ago um, from her battle with cancer. So that's really sad. So she played an incredible Tess in the game and. I didn't know that. I just felt like we were talking about her. I had to bring up the character, and yeah. you know, but she just died wow, recently, about I, a month I ago. Really, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, they were all... I saw a bunch of tweets about it. They, I think they that's dedicated horrible. this episode to her. I, that's really horrible. And she did a stunning, stunning job. And what a, like, legacy to leave. And especially, like, as someone who birthed and to have originated. Mm-hmm. And she did a stunning job in the video game. And what a legacy she leaves. Yeah, so just had to bring that up because you know I just. What's knew... her name? Let's let's find her name. <sighs> yeah, let's I was say, say I her don't name. know her name actually, which I let's feel really bad about. Let's say her name. That's okay. We can cut this out. Annie oh. Wershing. Annie Wershing. So thank you to her, and may she rest in peace. May That's she rest in peace. Horribly sad, and I think she did an amazing job. She did, and um. I think the actress in this show did an amazing job. And, and did just her justice. So moved. Yeah, honestly, like, did that original test justice. Yeah. Did it so and well. what a legacy to leave. And I'm honestly sad that she's not going to be in the show anymore. Yeah. <laughs> like, I know. so devastating. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I feel well, like we have to get used to, like, being introduced to really good actors and then, and then them dying, them. like, the same episode or something like that. Well, yeah. let's cheers to both test the character, but also to Annie, because... 
what a legacy. Mm -hmm. All right, guys. Well, that's going to conclude our reaction to The Last of Us Episode 2. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, you know the drill. Hit a like and subscribe so you can stay up to date. We are chugging along this journey, and I'm so, so happy to be here. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming you are, of too. Of course, yeah. Do you have any final thoughts before we wrap this episode up? No, I just feel, I feel really kind of, like, somber about yeah. that whole episode, but in a way that I think is, like, how they meant for us to feel. So. Well, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I feel like this is what they wanted us to leave the episode yeah. with. I'm very, um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just excited to see the rest of it. I think they're doing, like, such an incredible job. All right, guys. Well, we hope you have a great rest of your day. We'll see you in the next video.